Suletni started seminar today on a nice guest came to visit our assisted group, Dr. Nadjes Shahamat Drexor. I spelling correctly. She did a PhD in 2019 in Iran in the Pum, Ferdowsi University of Mashhad. This is a a uh, very good university in Iran. She worked under supervision of uh, Professor Abbasi and her uh, PhD thesis topic was uh, neutrino dominated aggression flows in uh, gamma ray burst engines. So she's a specialist on gamma ray bursts. Uh, and uh, until 2022, she was a postdoc at the same university. Verdosi, she was also a visiting scientist for some period of time at Trento University in Italy. Uh, working with general relativistic energy group, uh, who is there, and uh, with Cipolletta and Giacomazzo. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, now she's a postdoc at the Isfahan University of Technology, also in Iran. And she's our collaborator since over a year or, or two. two. We've been working remotely together during the pandemic time, so it's the first time we meet here in person, and I'm very happy to see not just. Please thank you. go ahead with your book. Uh, thank you for your comment. Uh, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, um, some works I have done uh, um, about uh, GRB uh, central engines and uh, um, their electromagnetic transients. Uh, um, as you may know, uh, um, gamma bursts are, uh, um, uh, are uh, the, um, the biggest, uh, I can say, the most energetic uh, um, bursts in the universe after a big bang, and it uh, releases uh, um, an energy uh, about 10 to uh, 50, uh, um, up to 54 ergs per second, uh, and uh, um, uh, it. Uh, the prompt emission, the early emission uh, of gamma rays, uh, gamma rays uh, takes um, around uh, 0 0.01 uh, second up to 100 seconds. Of course, uh, GRBs uh, consist of two parts mainly, uh, prompt emission and afterglow. Uh, in prompt uh, emission, which happens in the early times, uh, we have uh, soft gamma rays and uh, in after uh, we have uh, um, lower energetic uh, um, uh, emissions uh, in X, radio, and optic. Uh, and you can see here uh, um, some of the samples for the prompt emissions that has been observed by uh, BAS. BAS. Generally, uh, the GRB central engine should uh, meet some special criteria. Uh, um, uh, for example, they should be capable to uh, produce jets. The jets should be clean. Uh, um, uh, it means that uh, uh, it means that uh, uh, it, uh, it means that uh, um, uh, the energy per volume uh, should be uh, much more than uh, NPC. Uh, square um, uh, in order to have a relativistic jet. And also it should be able to produce uh, um, uh, to uh, active, uh, um, to be activated in a periodic manner and uh, also in a long term. Uh, um, Hyperaccreting black holes uh, are among the best candidates uh, um, that can uh, justify the GRB's spectrum. About hyperaccretion black holes, uh, um, uh, hyperaccretions uh, means uh, we have uh, high accretion uh, rates of about uh, 0.01, 10, um, up to 10 mass of the sun per second. Uh, and also, uh, um, in such a high accretion rate, we have uh, um, trapped photons, uh, and uh, photons cannot efficiently uh, extract the energy, but uh, neutrinos can act efficiently, they can be produced in such a um, high density matter, uh, and they can uh, extract the energy from the black, uh, from the uh, disk efficiently. Uh, there are some uh, mechanisms 
Mm. That may produce jet, uh, neutrinizing of an inhalation, uh, releasing mechanism, black force and light mechanism, and PP mechanism uh, or black propane mechanism. Uh, the two uh, last ones are uh, some magnetic mechanisms. Uh, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, the first and uh, third one in the following. Uh, mm, I'm just uh, mm, uh, very fast uh, point out uh, some special points about uh, neutrino emissions uh, that we might have in our uh, hyperaccretion disk. Of course, uh, this hyperaccretion disk with uh, neutrinos uh, um, acting um, efficiently, we can uh, call them as neutrino dominated accretion flows or endos. Uh, we have uh, some process among which uh, neutralization and thermal emissions are the most important reactions uh, uh, or uh, mechanisms that we can have neutrinos through them. And uh, for uh, thermal emission, the most important uh, process is uh, the electron positron annihilation. And uh, we can have the clean rate based on uh, this reaction. Um, and for uh, neutralization, the most important uh, mm, reaction is uh, electron positron air capture or Yoka process. Uh, I'm not going to uh, go uh, through the details of the uh, relations in order to save time. Uh, mm, these are just uh, mm, uh, some uh, basic situations that uh, we encounter uh, in our uh, mm, formalism. Mm -hmm. The equation of a state includes uh, the gas pressure, radiation pressure, and uh, degeneracy pressure of electrons, and uh, neutrinal pressure, uh, mm, that, uh, each of which has its own relation. And uh, mm, we have uh, the energy balance equation. Uh, here, uh, viscosity works as uh, mm, a factor that, uh, a factor that uh, can produce uh, heat and can uh, mm, uh, transport energy and angular momentum in the disk efficiently. Uh, mm, and advection is uh, a mechanism uh, mm, that uh, transfer energy and uh, mass towards the black hole, and uh, mm, it can be considered, uh, considered as, a, mm, as an efficient mechanism for cooling. Uh, and uh, neutral uh, is another uh, efficient mechanism uh, that can cool the disk. Uh, uh, mostly, I'm going to talk about uh, mm, uh, the variability that uh, mm, happens uh, in the GRDs spectrum. Uh, there are some uh, mm, mechanisms and ideas about how this uh, variabilities may happen. Uh, mm, one of the most important ones is the gravitational instability because of mm, the high density uh, situation we have in uh, hyperaccretion disorder or GRB central regions. Uh, gravitational instability uh, mm, may work uh, both in uh, the inner regions of uh, the hyperaccretion disk and uh, mm, as well as the uh, outer region. Uh, in the inner region, uh, under some special uh, circumstances uh, I'm going to talk about, uh, mm, mm, we can have uh, gravitational instability and uh, maybe uh, we can have uh, mm, fragmentation as a result so, uh, so that uh, mm, we can have uh, fluctuations in the ground emissions uh, mm, of GRBs. But uh, in the outer disk, when uh, we have gravitational instability, if we have gravitational instability, uh, it may result in, uh, in changing uh, in the structure of the disk, uh, in the outer disk. Uh, it may produce some uh, in spiral structure or maybe fragments. Uh, both of them uh, can result in uh, the production of the jets with uh, layers of different Lorentz factors, and consequently, uh, they can produce a, a highly fluctuating uh, um, emission. Uh, for example, X ray flares can be uh, justified through such mechanism. Uh, 
in such a high de uh, density uh, environment, we can uh, consider self gravity, and uh, self gravity can um, have an important impact on the uh, possibility of uh, gravitational instability. Uh, in this uh, work, uh, I considered um, a, a study in axisymmetric magnetized uh, end of, uh, with uh, vertical self gravity. Um, and, uh, um, and also, prop for, uh, prop such, uh, some mechanisms uh, such as magnetic barrier, uh, the probability of uh, having your, uh, for, uh, the, uh, the probability for um, gravitational instability uh, or, and fragmentation uh, and try to uh, justify how uh, they can uh, they can explain uh, the GRB spectrum, how well they can explain the GRB spectrum. Uh, these are some uh, equations, some basic magnetohydrodynamic equations. Uh, continuity and angular momentum equation. Um, uh, we have the energy balance equation. Uh, here, uh, as cooling, we have advection process, uh, neutrino cooling process, and uh, cooling uh, that might be uh, might happen efficiently uh, by uh, the larger scale effects of magnetic field. And uh, in hydrostatic balance equation, uh, in hydrostatic balance equation, we can uh, consider the effects of vertical self gravity here. Uh, after doing some, uh, after considering some approximations and uh, some calculations, uh, we can uh, reduce our set of equations and. Uh, uh, achieve uh, H uh, density. H is the thickness of the disk, uh, and uh, density and other parameters that uh, we need. Uh, and um, these are um, uh, those uh, equations without self gravity in order to make comparison. Uh, and and uh, another important uh, mm, parameter that uh, quantity that we need to uh, mm, calculate is a Tumba parameter in order to see uh, mm, uh, if gravitational instability uh, mm, is possible. It is the Tumba parameter for the case of uh, magnetic field is taken into consideration. Uh, one of the uh, important mechanisms uh, that uh, can be considered when uh, we take uh, the effects of magnetic uh, magnetic field into account is the uh, magnetic barrier mechanism. Uh, very uh, very short, I can say, uh, uh, through the accretion of matter and energy towards the black hole. Uh, the magnetic field lines can uh, be accumulated in the inner regions, uh, and uh, so that uh, the magnet, the Lorentz force can halt the accretion process um, just in a short period of time. Uh, after um, having accumulation of matter uh, in the inner region, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in the radius. Uh, radius uh, Larger than the magnetospheric radius, uh, the gravitational torque uh, exerted by uh, the center of the black hole uh, again uh, would be dominated over the Lorentz force uh, torque, and uh, the accretion process would uh, be triggered again. Uh, so uh, this mechanism can uh, produce and. Can produce can produce some um, change variability in the uh, GRB spectrum. Uh, in order to have uh, just some estimate about uh, the happening of magnetic barrier, if it is possible or not, uh, we can uh, compare to uh, time scales. Diffusion time scales and uh, viscous time scale, 
the fusion time scale uh, gives us ju just some intuition about how fast uh, magnetic field lines can uh, be diffused uh, through the disk and uh, go out and uh, get the matter outside uh, the disk and produ uh, producing uh, the outflow uh, of matter. And uh, viscous, uh, viscous time scale uh, can tell us how fast matter uh, can activate through the disk, so through uh, the black hole. Uh, so if uh, uh, the fusion time scale uh, was uh, large enough and uh, larger than uh, viscous time scale, we can say that uh, the accumulation of magnetic field, uh, field can happen in the inner region. Uh, about uh, gravitational instability, uh, if we have a tumor parameter less than one, uh, we can say we have gravitational instability, but fragmentation uh, would be possible if uh, we have this relation. Uh, between uh, cooling time scale, local cooling time scale, and critical time scale. Uh, it means that if uh, local cooling time scale happens uh, past enough, we may have a fragmentation and, um, as well. Uh, here, uh, uh, in order to see, in order to see. Uh, um, uh, if a neutrino anti antineutrino annihilation or BP mechanism uh, are able uh, to uh, produce GRB spectrum, we should have an estimate for uh, their luminosity. Uh, we uh, will calculate uh, neutrino luminosity and BP power uh, and we'll uh, compare them in the result. Uh, in the um, first column uh, at the left, uh, you can see that um, you can see uh, um, uh, the effects of self gravity and magnetic field uh, um, at the first plot. At the second, uh, you can see the effects of magnetic field, uh, and uh, the third uh, row uh, shows uh, the effects of magnetic. The second uh, shows the effects of self gravity. Only and the uh, third one shows the effects of magnetic field. Um, and uh, mm, this um, gives us uh, an estimate uh, about the thickness of the disk. <coughs> uh, as you can see, the most important thing is uh, that uh, self gravity and magnetic field seem to oppose each other. And, and uh, mm, uh, for example, magnetic field in the first uh, column, uh, in the first row, uh, mm, has caused uh, mm, the gravitational elastic regions, which are in pink, uh, to shrink. Uh, mm, and uh, self gravity uh, has caused uh, the disk to be thinner and also more gravitationally unstable. Uh, and uh, without mm, self gravity, we don't have gravitational instability. Uh, and also, uh, mm, the first column show. Uh, the lower mass accretion rate, and um, which is uh, 0.1 mass of the sun per second, uh, and uh, the second column shows uh, the higher mass accretion rate, uh, which is uh, 10 times of the uh, mass of the sun per second. And uh, you can see that uh, in higher accretion rates, uh, we have uh, mm, we have uh, more probability, maybe we have a larger probability uh, of the uh, mm, Gravitational instability. Uh, the two uh, first plots show um, the magnetic field components. Uh, the first one uh, for the lower accretion rate, and the second one for uh, the accretion rate uh, 10, uh, 10 uh, mass of the sun per second. Uh, um, as you can see, self gravity uh, has uh, strengthened the amount of magnetic field in the outer regions. Um, the solid lines shows uh, mm, a magnetized end up with uh, the effects of self gravity, uh, and the dashed lines uh, in dashed lines uh, we didn't consider uh, self gravity impacts. Uh, in the uh, 
lower panel, uh, you can see the comparison between uh, the neutrino luminosity and uh, BP power. And as you can see, um, the black lines uh, are for the neutrino, uh, anti neutrino annihilation luminosity. And uh, um, uh, the BP power is shown with uh, orange line. And uh, as you can see, the uh, neutrino uh, luminosity uh, can work more efficiently uh, than BP power. Uh, in order, uh, we also uh, followed another uh, scenario in order to uh, see if gravitational instability can. Uh, in, in, in the first uh, work that uh, I've already talked about, uh, uh, we can see that uh, from this, uh, we can see that uh, the outer regions of the disk uh, can be affected by gravitational instability. It means that uh, um, gravitational instability can produce the variabilities, may produce uh, variabilities in the uh, daytime activity of the disk. Mm -hmm. uh, Uh, but here we try to, uh, in this work, we try to uh, see if gravitational instability can affect the variability, uh, temporal variability in the uh, prompt emission, in the early time emission of geophysics. Mm, uh, we followed the idea that uh, when accretion rates uh, are high enough, uh, neut uh, even neutrinos uh, could be trapped in the inner regions. Uh, and they, uh, and it, it has been studied that uh, neutrinos can uh, transport energy and momentum uh, in the disk efficiently, and they can suppress uh, um, MRI instability as uh, um, another uh, cause for the viscosity uh, that uh, is commonly considered in accretion disk. Uh, it can suppress the MRI instability uh, um, so that we can say. Uh, in such a high, uh, uh, in such a highly dense and uh, um, with high accretion rate environment, uh, um, we can have neutrino viscosity uh, as a dominant uh, mechanism for heating the disk. Uh, so uh, um, we consider um, this idea and uh, also. Uh, and, uh, and also under the effects of self gravity in this scenario, uh, in order to see if uh, it can uh, has a strong effect on uh, gravitational instability or not. Uh, we consider a quasi steady axisymmetric uh, configuration um, for the inner disk. Uh, with the hydrostatic balance uh, we have here, with the hydrostatic uh, equations we have here, uh, and we consider the effects of uh, vertical self gravity in the hydrostatic balance equation. Uh, uh, and uh, we see that uh, in the left panel, uh, uh, you can see the control plot for Tunga parameter. Uh, mm, the purple lines uh, shows the, mm, the case mm, with self parity and the green lines shows the case without self parity. Uh, mm, and we see that tumor parameter is less than one uh, in the inner regions when we consider self parity. Uh, mm, it means that uh, mm, we have in the inner regions uh, mm, a gravitational instability in this case. Uh, but the gravitational instability would not necessarily result, result in um, the creation of, of fragments, uh, since, uh, in, as you can see in the uh, right side, uh, right, hand side, right hand side panel, uh, in the ratio of putting uh, time scale to uh, critical time scale is very large, uh, so uh, it is not um, the putting uh, process is not large. Um, is not uh, effective enough to produce uh, fragments. Here uh, we add another. We added another um, uh, idea 
we can see another idea. Mm, uh, it has been studied that uh, gravitational instability can uh, mm, can act as another factor in uh, mm, producing turbulence in the uh, mm, accretion disk. But uh, it is um, completely temporarily, uh, just in a sh very short period of time, uh, in which uh, mm, gravitational instability is effective. Uh, so uh, we consider uh, mm, the effects of uh, mm, gravitational instability that we have in this region uh, as another factor for uh, viscosity and we consider a uh, better viscosity relation as it has been uh, proposed by other people uh, for self for self-gravitating these. Uh, and we added the, this term to viscosity. Uh, and we see that uh, mm. uh, we, not only we have the gravitational instability possible in the inner regions, the fragmentation would be also possible uh, in this scenario. Uh, we need to uh, make some estimates uh, in order to see uh, the accretion of uh, each fragment can uh, produce the variability that um, is observed in the uh, front emission. Um, we make this estimate by uh, considering uh, uh, the interplay between uh, shear force uh, and tidal force and self gravity force uh, that each fragment uh, feels. Uh, if uh, shear force and tidal force is uh, larger than self gravity force, uh, we can say accretion of uh, fragment will be possible. Uh, uh, from this, uh, we have found uh, the radius at which. Uh, the accretion of uh, each fragment may happen. Uh, and also we can estimate uh, the luminosity uh, due to the accretion of each fragment. Eta and F is uh, some coefficients uh, in order to uh, consider the conversion efficiency uh, of the rest mass energy to, uh, to gravitational energy and also gravitational energy to radiation. Uh, we have considered a, a characteristic time here uh, in order to make comparison with the observations. Uh, the characteristic time is uh, here is uh, considered to be the uh, time scale uh, of accretion uh, or uh, viscose time scale uh, for each fragment. Uh, and uh, we see that uh, there is a power law uh, in relation between these two quantities, uh, the characteristic time and uh, gamma luminosity. Uh, with a power index uh, that you can see here, uh, it is different um, for uh, different parameters of beta, beta. and uh, for the best case uh, that is uh, compatible with the observation uh, very well um, is the last one, which is uh, in which beta is uh, 2.5 uh, times 10 to minus 5. Uh, and the power index is uh, very near to one minus one, uh, which has been observed, in, which has been predicted by observations. This shows that uh, in this scenario uh, can uh, justify that uh, the variability that is observed in uh, front emission. Mm. Another work, the last, maybe the recent work uh, that uh, we have done in collaboration with Professor Yanu, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm sorry. I hope it's okay. Yeah. Um, uh, we have done recently uh, in collaboration with Professor Yanu and uh, Dominika Caro. Um, uh, is a work and uh, is the study that we have done. Uh, in, uh, 
on the uh, massive stars and the collapsing massive stars. Uh, and uh, we have done a, a general relativistic magnetohydrodynamic simulation uh, with the use of uh, harm code. Uh, and uh, in this scenario of uh, collapsing, uh, I mean, in the collapsing collapsor scenario, uh, we can say that uh, each massive star uh, at the end of its life uh, may collapse into uh, a black hole uh, at the center, and uh, a collapsing envelope would be created uh, around it. Of course, if uh, the core of the star uh, would be massive enough of around, uh, with a mass of around uh, seven mass of mass of the sun up to ten mass of the sun. Mm, and uh, since uh, most of the uh, GRBs, LGRBs, long gamma bursts, are connected with uh, core collapse supernova, uh, we can consider. Uh, we try to. Uh, uh, consider this uh, scenario uh, that uh, we have worked on as uh, a central engine for GRB. Uh, of course, uh, there is still uh, there is still uh, some important media steps uh, to have uh, this scenario. And uh, uh, in this uh, formalism that uh, we studied. Um, we consider uh, a dynamical um, change that uh, can happen in uh, geometry uh, because of the accretion of matter uh, from the envelope onto the black hole. Uh, and also uh, the effects of a different configuration of magnetic fields. Of course, uh, these two features has been uh, studied uh, by Professor and Professor, uh, by Professor and, uh, and uh, her collaborator uh, previously, um, and uh, in the in this work we have uh, considered uh, the effects of self gravity uh, to this formalism. Uh, to consider uh, self gravity effects, uh, a perturbative uh, method uh, has been considered. Uh, of course, um, we have here um, two um, fundamental equations um, the mass and energy momentum conservation. Uh, and uh, a stress energy tensor uh, um, consists of two parts uh, um, uh, one of them for uh, gas uh, and another one. Uh, Mm, electromagnetic and a stress energy tensor, tensor. and uh, mm, as the initial condition, mm, we consider uh, mm, a bond solution uh, in order to calculate density and radial velocity. And uh, mm, in bond solution, we uh, have uh, mm, a quasi spherical uh, accretion uh, with uh, small angular momentum. Uh, mm, around the central black hole. Uh, mm, a perturbative method, method has been uh, adopted to consider the effects of self gravity um, mm, with the use of a uh, Tokolsky equation and a CCK method in order to find the solution. Uh, mm, in this uh, mm, scenario, uh, mm, the mm, the gravitational force of each uh, fluid element has been considered to have uh, a perturbative uh, effect on the uh, metric, uh, um, uh, on the metric. and um, so if uh, we have the perturbed uh, metric uh, line elements, uh, we have uh, the effects of uh, self gravity in uh, this form. Uh, after having uh, the perturbed geometric, we can uh, achieve, we can calculate the uh, perturbative terms for uh, mass and uh, angular momentum of the black hole. Uh, we considered uh, some uh, different configurations for magnetic field. Uh, which is important to uh, mm, creation uh, to create a jet mm, in order to see if 
it is possible to have jets in this scenario or not. Um, the first one is colloidal configuration, the second one valve, um, which is a uniform uh, field configuration, and uh, the third one is uh, the dipole magnetic field configuration. The most important uh, um, result, um, result that uh, we uh, achieved uh, is that, um, as we can see, uh, the first uh, plot is for the black, the evolution of the black hole uh, mass, and uh, the second one is the for, uh, for the accretion uh, mass accretion rate, and uh, the third one shows uh, the evolution of the uh, dimension as the skin parameter of the black hole. Uh, as um, you can see, uh, the solid lines, uh, um, uh, which are uh, um, related to the self-gravitating case, uh, um, shows that uh, the evolution of the uh, black hole uh, characteristic features and uh, also the um, uh, envelope, uh, you can see in the second plus, could be very fast, much more, much faster than the case without self gravity. Uh, and uh, from the second panel, you can see that uh, in uh, a period of time between uh, 0.1 and 0.2 uh, seconds, we uh, have uh, a very uh, fluctuating behavior uh, in the accretion rate. Uh, and uh, another um, feature we can see here is uh, um, the effect of uh, um, specific uh, angular momentum uh, um, on the uh, spin parameter, especially. You can see that uh, um, this, if the specific angular momentum is uh, larger, S parameter that we have here, uh, we have uh, um, a larger maximum uh, amount of dimension as far as spin parameter uh, as well as the final value of uh, um, spin parameter would be larger. Uh, to see what happens uh, during this uh, period of time uh, that we have uh, such a variability, uh, we can uh, look at the uh, density profiles and uh, um, uh, profiles of pressure uh, in order to see what happens. Uh, um, the arrows shows uh, um, uh, vector field uh, of uh, um, velocity uh, which are normalized mm -hmm. and uh, as you can see in these time steps uh, we have some inhomogeneities in the structure of uh, um, the envelope uh, and uh, um, also, we have some outflows of matter uh, at the equatorial plan, uh, and uh, um, at the end of our simulation, uh, this outflow happens again. Um, the thing which was uh, important uh, for most is uh, the inhomogeneous structure that uh, we see here. Uh, um, as they happen, uh, they start uh, to be accurate uh, at the uh, surface that we have some discontinuity in, uh, in density. Uh, we, can, uh, we can call them uh, as uh, some interfacial, we can uh, consider for them as a reason uh, the interfacial instabilities. Uh, Two types of interfacial instabilities that can be considered here is the uh, RT already tailored instability and uh, self gravity interfacial instability. Um, when uh, they, uh, both of them uh, can produce somehow similar structure, but um, uh, when we uh, calculated uh, um, uh, the growth rate for RT instability, we found that uh, mm, the gradient for uh, density uh, mm, and gradient for pressure uh, mm, acts in the same direction. Uh, I mean, uh, the value uh, mm, under the score uh, mm, under the score root is uh, negative, 
so uh, we can say uh, RT instability cannot be possible here, and SGI uh, instability uh, can be um, proposed for uh, as the cause for uh, the creation of such a structure. We also uh, mm, consider a uh, tumor parameter here in order to see if um, uh, gravitational instability can happen, of course, uh, mm, to have a uh, mm, uh, very estimation and we need to, uh, mm, we need to uh, conduct a, a three-dimensional uh, simulation. Uh, but here uh, we had uh, just in the inner, in the very inner size of the piece of um, the equatorial plan, um, the possibility for gravitational instability, and we can see uh, somehow a ring-like structure in uh, the very inner side, uh, which uh, does not seem to have uh, a considerable effect on our outcome at least in two-dimensional uh, version that we worked on. Uh, about the effects of different uh, configurations for magnetic field, uh, the thing which uh, matters for, uh, for us is the creation of jet, the possibility for the creation of jet. Uh, we didn't uh, found uh, any signs for creation of jets in the uh, case of uh, vertical magnetic field. And uh, I should say uh, the first uh, row uh, ignores the effects of self gravity, and the second one uh, considers uh, the effects of self gravity, and we can see that uh, self gravity has uh, some impacts on the uh, configuration uh, of the magnetic field. Uh, in the mouth uh, configuration, uh, we have um, just found uh, some uh, females of uh, lower density in the very inner. These three panels uh, are uh, zoomed in uh, plots uh, of the, uh, the first three ones. Um, and you can see that uh, there are just um, some uh, females here in the polar region uh, that uh, are of um, lower density and uh, it um, uh, can be considered as uh, um, jet production, but uh, the jet is not strong enough and uh, would be halted at uh, some radiation which was around uh, 250. Uh, it is uh, the bound mm, configuration for the case of uh, self gravity, and uh, we had similar, somehow similar mm, conclusions. Thank you for attention. Huh. Do we have time for questions? And myself, we have plenty of questions. I let the audience start, please. Uh -huh. Uh, I have two questions, but uh, so I, I will start with the first one, which is a bit technical. Uh, in the first uh, part of your presentation, you said that the vertical hydrostatic equilibrium does not depend on the magnetic field. Why was that? Well, at least this is what I understood. Uh, it does not depend on the magnetic field. It, it was the first part of your of your talk. Yeah. Your, those neutrinos uh, dominated plots. And you had an equation of vertical. Oh. Mm -hmm. It is the uh, hydrostatic finance equation in vertical direction. So in that case, terms. it does depend. At yeah, some no. point, you said it. No, no, it, uh, it was the case uh, for magnetized uh, case. Maybe uh, maybe there was some ah, confusion. confusion. This one which you, you flashed up here. Mm -hmm. 
the hydrostatic balance equation of in self gravity regardless of magnetic field it, 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 so then more uh, in this case, was an assumption yeah, so we considered it, yeah three cases one of them was uh, without magnetic field so can I ask the second question? Yes, please. So my, my second question is uh, that uh, sometimes you have uh, short gamma ray bursts which are actually long. So can your uh, self gravitational instability somehow explain this uh, uh, unexpected delay? Or your computational zone is too small to, to uh, address this issue. Mm. I think Agnieszka, you mentioned something like that. Or something like short, that. but short, it's formally it's short, short and looking like the first part of the long GRP, and this long tail is not yes. seen. That is what we mean from observation. We have uh, in the uh, Crumbs emission, uh, mm -hmm. we have a longer uh, emission, as you said. Uh, I think exactly yeah. and, uh, Well, that's from the observers. Uh, there, there is a claim that some uh, part of the short GRPs mm -hmm. are uh, resembling the long ones in terms of their soft spectra, right? Mm -hmm. But the duration is short. No, I think they had also a day. Or they have a tail which they have also a low, low low intensity low intensity tail. Tail. Yeah, and uh, what's the question? To, I don't know who, uh, whether this uh, kind of uh, instability or forming an outer ring can delay part of the of the column. Uh, the only thing that uh, mm, uh, comes to my mind is uh, about a model, a scenario that I mm, have. Uh, mm, read about it i have read about it uh, in the tail uh, in the tidal of tails that uh, might be uh, created uh, during the uh, during the merging uh, um, gravitational instability there are some scenarios that uh, consider or some simulations uh, that consider uh, mm, uh, the possibility for uh, gravitational instability and they also uh, mm, Found uh, I can't remember the uh, of course the authors, but uh, they found uh, the creation of uh, some uh, mm, somehow vortex, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, mm, this can affect also uh, that scenario, but uh, I'm not sure about details anymore. Thank you, Nikolai. Please. Uh, so I have a question regarding the second part of your talk. So we have presented a process of, a, of the collapse of a, a self gravitating massive star. Yes. This process becomes small as radially, but later it becomes very non radial. Does it lead to any big uh, gravitational wave production because of that? Uh, excuse me, could you please repeat? Uh, so you have presented this process of collapse of a massive star, which yeah. begins small as radially, but then becomes non radial because of the, uh, uh, of the spin of the central black hole. Can it lead to large gravitational wave production being non radial? Uh, actually, uh, I have uh, maybe no reliable uh, knowledge in this uh, part, but uh, I. I've heard just maybe something about mm -hmm. uh, the creation of a uh, gravitational wave, but uh, it's not as reliable and. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's in our case, maybe, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the second, more fundamental question, by gravitational instability, you mean any instability because of the possibility of, because of the self-gravity of the material? Uh, you know, gravitational instability doesn't happen necessarily because of this, mm, uh, the effects of self-gravity, but uh, mm, for sure self-gravity uh, can strengthen uh, mm, uh, this uh, instability. Uh, mm, 
and maybe we can say uh, yes locally if we consider maybe uh, um, in general self gravity is not uh, uh, cannot be considered efficient uh, in our disk, but uh, locally, because of some perturbations that might be um, might happen, uh, as far as I remember, uh, might happen because of uh, some other instabilities, uh, thermal instabilities, and some other uh, types of instabilities. The gravitational instability would be possible as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there are not. Uh, that's in the, in the, uh, that dependent to each other, but uh, self gravity can increase uh, the chance for gravitational instability. Okay, thank you. Other questions? Yes, uh, uh, thank you for the talk. Uh, I, I was wondering about the, um, the material, the full back material. Uh, can you measure that? Um, you, the question also is. Uh, if you know what is the maximum value for get the full black material from the start. Mm. Uh, actually, uh, I can say uh, I don't know uh, uh, anything special about the fallback, uh, mm. uh, the effects mm. of uh, fallback mat of material. Uh, so uh, I can say I don't know exactly. Yeah, what we consider here is that actually the collapse is the large cause. So there is uh, ah, not even an envelope. Yeah, it is small size, mm -hmm. compact uh, uh, core already squeezed into some volume. But uh, yeah, from back of the of the cold envelope, we, we, we don't consider that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I do, and your last slides uh, show uh, you are looking for the jet launching. Uh, do you know that uh, you expect? Uh, I mean, do you need more integration time for for observe this uh, jet launching, or uh, your uh, magnetic field is not uh, enough in, in, in the axis? Uh, you mean considering a longer time and may affect the creation of. Uh, um, as uh, the density would drop uh, very fast uh, when we consider self gravity, uh, I think uh, considering a longer time scale uh, does not work at, at least. Uh, um, no, I think uh, it should not work uh, because of the effects of self gravity. Yeah, so I have a question to your first part again, uh, that, uh, that plot where you show the um, extension of the gravitationally unstable zone from your end up simulation. And you had such a nice uh, graph. Um, I remember there was a, a paper by um, Chen and Piero Borodo. Probably you know that that work. How your result compares with theirs? Mm -hmm. uh, further, yeah, the, the, the plot was in the end of your of your uh, part. Uh, here, or maybe I'm confusing something. No, no, no. no. The, the first work, yeah, yeah. and the and the uh, last slides of this. Yeah, last slides of the first uh, work is here, uh, mm -hmm. and in the second. Uh, I consider it in the uh, early time. Uh, oh, here, yeah, yeah. yeah, this plot. Ah, yeah. so does this plot show the extension of the gravitationally unstable zone, or maybe I'm confusing something? Now I can see that this. Is a plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is only the outer boundary of the neutrino opaque zone. That this was also studied by Chen and Pio but then they they were showing on the same kind of graph, mass accretion rate. Uh, parameter versus radius, there was this gravitationally unstable zone here up. Mm -hmm. yeah, for higher accretion rates, it was uh, far away from the uh, black hole. So, did you try to compare your oh, results yeah. with theirs? Actually, not aware of that uh, work. No, ah, right. uh, mm, I have to but, show you uh, the work. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it is uh, mm, the important thing, uh, or the key uh, factor here, is the consideration of notional viscosity that we uh, can really change the gravitational and the schedule from zones. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we can discuss it later about this paper by Chen and the of 2007. Yeah, I may see that, but uh, right now we cannot be. All right. Any other questions from Zoom? Do we have? No. No Zoom. No Zoom. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they could hear us because of the distance that no sound. Okay, so thank you very much again for your attention.